With both sides digging in, there still seems to be no end in sight. And there is growing concern for people living in federal housing. WBZ's Tashani Whitlow is live for us in studio tonight. And Tashani, many face possible eviction. That's right. Public housing officials don't know how long rental assistance payments will keep coming from the government. Today, I spoke with a concerned Dorchester tenant worried about being kicked out of her home for non-payment. Low-income residents who rely on the federal program Section 8 could be in jeopardy of losing their homes. So where's that leaving everybody to have Section 8? People that live in low-income houses, where's that leaving everybody? If this thing go on for years, all of us going to be on the street. That's because Section 8 is set to run out of funding next month. There will be no stretching of the resources. If the resources don't come, then we will not be making housing assistant payments to landlords in the local communities. It's as simple as that. Watertown Housing Authority Executive Director Brian Costello told WBZ without funding from HUD, his office already working with a constrained budget would be unable to cover rent payments for tenants after February. For my housing authority, it's very limited. I don't have enough reserves to carry one month's worth of uh, operating or uh, Section 8 leased housing HAP payments. President Trump has vowed to keep the shutdown in effect until he gets $5 billion for a border wall. Volunteer Luann McGregor depends on the federal Section 8 program and SNAP benefits to care for herself and her two school-age grandchildren. She's concerned if the shutdown continues, her situation may become even more dire. That's what I'm living off of. Come on. Now, I live on a fixed income. I only get one little check a month. But I'm going to pay where I lay my head at and where my grandbabies got to lay their head at. McGregor is hopeful that she and her grandchildren will remain in their home and not be evicted. Now, it's worth noting in past shutdowns, the federal program HUD has reimbursed owners and avoided evictions. It remains to be seen whether that will happen this time. Lisa? Tashani, thank you.